Well, hello everyone. Welcome to this quick Central Control 2.5 feature overview video. My name is Joda Max. I'm the owner and developer of Central Control, and I'm really, really excited to share these new updates with you. There's loads of features and improvements, as well as new devices in this release. So let's take a look at what's new. Firstly, is support for the entire range of Blackmagic's Hyperdex. Now, as long as your Hyperdeck has got an Ethernet port built into it, you're going to be able to remotely control it with central control. This module has all the features you've come to expect. So you've got stop, start, next clip, last clip, load clip. You also use an X keys or similar to do jog and shuttle operations. It's all there. Now, conveniently, you could combine this with the command splitter in central control, so you are able to control seamlessly up to four hyperdecks at once. This might be useful if you've got some need to start recording on all four decks at the same time from one button. Now, another great video playback solution is MITI. MITI is an incredible Mac app that allows you to play videos, a whole bunch of different codecs, and then make a nice playlist of all of them and even have transitions and such in between the videos. This can now also be controlled from central control. Now, both of these modules have something in common. They all support NDI output for displaying video timecode on a NDI video stream, perfect for inserting into a multi view or similar, as well as maybe a Stream Deck key or the transport display on an X-Touch, stuff like that. And in addition to this, they both support triggers. So you can say make a trigger when there's 500 milliseconds remaining to tell your video mixer to mix back to what's on preview. So just really useful automation features like that. Next up, voice meter. If you don't know already, voice meter is a superb software audio mixer solution for Windows. I personally, day in, day out, use voice meter potato and I find it indispensable. So with that in mind, I guess it was inevitable that sooner or later there would be a central control module for it and now that day is here. This new central control device to control voice meter is great. You've got motorized fader feedback, you've got VU meters, you can put your gains, your labels on the scribble strips. All the stuff you've seen in our vMix integration is all supported for voice meter. This hands down is the best way to add a hardware controller to voice meter. The next one is slightly different. You won't have seen something like this before in Central Control. This is essentially a web app that is hosted from your instance of Central Control. And what this web app is, is what we're calling the vMix Remote Playlist Viewer. This web app displays information such as time remaining, time elapsed, and the content of all your video list inputs in vMix. Why would you want to see that in a web browser? Great question. Let's say you've got a producer that needs to be able to see information like that and know what's loaded and what's up next, how long's left, but you really don't want to give them remote access like Parsec or TeamViewer because maybe they'll start clicking buttons and ruin everything. Well, this is your solution. Select a viewer port, open that port up, and then you can send them a link, you just using your public IP address, and now they're able to see what's going on with your vMix video list inputs. Finally, Last but not least, we've got a new ArtNet output module, which goes hand in hand with the ArtNet input module. Now, yeah, this can be used to do stuff like translate OSC or MIDI or send DMX from a Stream Deck button. But in addition to that, it can be paired with the ArtNet input module. And when you put these two together, you're able to do some really useful stuff like remap universes, split universes out to different destinations, route them where you need them to go as well as say being able to bridge between networks. So let's say you've got ArtNet coming in on one network interface, but you need to send it out to a completely different network. Central Control has got you. You can easily create this kind of thing and essentially use Central Control as your ArtNet router slash distributor just by pairing these two modules in whatever combination you need. So that's it for this video. There's a couple of new controllers in there, but to find out a full list of what's new, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Central Control blog. Thank you so much for watching this video. That's all we've got time for today, but I'm sure I'll see you very soon. Thank you.